uh, what causes friction at the molecular level? Well, that's what we're going to do tonight. There's, we're gonna, tonight we're going to show you that with the key ring atom. There's two main things that cause friction. One of them is a collision with flat sides of the atoms, and the other one is electron ring entanglement. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to show you how that works. All right, what we have here, these are two hydrogen key ring atoms. Now, these are moving by each other, and they hit, like so, there's going to be some friction there. They're going to collide. That's the collision from a flat side. Now, what's the other obvious thing that causes friction? Electron ring entanglement. So if you go from any angle, and as you come by, as you see how they catch, and they stick, and there's a friction there, Notice how that does that? That's what causes friction in gases, solids, and liquids. Electron ring entanglement causes that. Now, almost all the key ring atoms are going to have the same problem here when it comes to friction. They're going to hit each other on a flat side, and they're going to be electron ring entanglement. Now, that's going to be that way on every atom except one, helium and uh, it's got some strange properties and we're going to explain that. But as you can see here, this is easy to understand what causes friction at the molecular level. Has anybody ever shown you that with what they teach in school? This is what causes friction among your atoms. They ever done that? No. So, why is this so easy? It's because physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.